I'd like you to just use the next couple of minutes, if you would, to get into a receptive and meditative posture in your body and in your mind, too. Just let your breath come down into your body and bring you onto your seat. <sighs> And each one of you be your own little island in the room here. And have another breath in. And as your body begins to soften a little more and become more present, just let yourself feel that center of your body where your heart is that soft, beautiful place that not only keeps you alive along with your breath, but is touched by spirit, that is talked to by spirit, where spirit lives inside of us in that beautiful, soft place in our chest. So breathing into that place, let yourself feel this moment. Let yourself experience the love that comes from the entourage of Kryon, from all of the family here, from the energy that was created before we got here, and the energy that we will continue to create, receiving deeply, knowing that we are dearly loved. Greetings, dear ones. I am Kryon of Magnetic Service. Once again, my partner steps aside. And with it, he takes his filters of humanity the paradigms he is used to of right and wrong, good and bad, appropriate and inappropriate, for every single human being grows up with a whole series of truths. Sometimes it's based on what your parents have told you, sometimes it's what you've learned in school. Sometimes it is what the teachers have told you, both spiritual and educational. And this is what you hold as truth. And dear ones, it gets in the way. And it only gets in the way because of the tremendous change that is occurring. As many years as we have told you, we are going to tell you again for as many years. <laughs> for human beings everywhere must hear the message that is pertaining to their energy alone. Now what do I mean by that? There has never been a time where individuality has been seen and honored more than this, old soul. You still wish to group and believe the same and have the minutia which is identical which separates you from another group whose minutia is slightly different and that has to change and it is human beings are starting to get together as old souls with only one premise they're old souls <laughs> they've been here they've done that they recognize the shift and they're ready to move forward with whatever it is that the Creator would have for them. We've given you information about this and what you've had to shift in order to come to that place where you basically say, I give up. <laughs> and giving up simply means I give up the old ways. That's all. Sometimes you've got to sweep the area in order to let the new energy fall upon the cleansed part. You start over. Starting over has a, has a bad connotation to some and a good to others. 
But you don't have to relearn your experience. Only thing you have to do that is so difficult for humanity is to get rid of the things that don't work based upon the ways of an old paradigm of existence. How many times have we said it before? You were born in survival. The things you learned on the playground before the elegance of human communication, the things you learned on the playground of how to handle the bully, all of these things are etched in you. And some of you immediately go to them when presented with similar situations in the new energy. This is what you're rewriting. Not only that, we have told you you're entering an energy that is less physical and more conscious driven. That the things that you have studied and been told and believe in are now coming to fruition more than ever before. What you think you are. What you say out loud in the air, your body hears and acts upon. You might say that that part of your body innate, which is behind the veil, doesn't know the difference of whether you're kidding or not, or whether you're simply being uh, one who is self-negative or not. You hear it, and it happens. That's the power the human being has. And so suddenly you start watching what you say and how you act. How many of you in your quietest times, old soul, are looking at an old energy paradigm and, and you don't even know it? Lack of self-worth, the idea you'll never make it, this won't happen, it never has. I want to tell you, your thoughts more now than ever before will control your reality. I have instructed my partner to start teaching the physics be behind what you have called average. The law of averages, the bell-shaped curve, the Galton box, whatever you want to call it in physics that gives you the idea that most of you are average and that a few of you will will be negative and a few of you will be positive and you haven't got a chance. It's an old paradigm and it's incorrect. It's even physically incorrect. I want to talk about tonight an attribute we have never talked about ever in public channel. It's going to rewrite the process of evolution of life. I want to tell you the way it really works. And it's going to be met with hoots and hollers and eye rolls around this planet. Anybody who hears it. And that's because of the way you were taught. The mind is closed when you think you know what you think you know. And then there are those who will listen and understand that what I tell you tonight is measurable and you can prove it if you simply wipe away what you think you know. And you're going to see connect the dots tonight regarding a new process of consciousness starting to enhance the idea you're not an accident. You were made to be here. Earth belongs here. You belong here. An old soul belongs here. You are in the right place at the right time experiencing issues and problems that are all coming from the transition. All. This isn't easy. Dear ones, we never said it would be. The timing isn't right in your mind. Some of you will pass certain markers that others are not ready to pass yet. And if you happen to be allied, one will tap their toe and the other one won't. It does not come together in the way it used to. It comes together better. 
The paradigm shift is about how things used to work, how they're working now, what to expect, and how you react to it. How does it control? Do you, do you control it? Does it control you? I'm talking to a group, mostly old souls in this room. Def trying to find old soul, you're using it too many times without a definition. I've defined it. It is super simple. Every old soul is a human being who has more than a hundred, two hundred, maybe even three hundred past lives. Some of you have been here since the beginning. Lemuria was a very long lasting mini continent and we've talked about it a long time, isolated for thousands and thousands of years without reincarnation. In other words, it brought in new souls and trained them in the ways of this planet with Pleiadian help. How many of you, old souls, might relate to a place you came from like that? We've even told you that there would be old souls to say, well, I can't remember, I can't remember Lemurius, but I remember Atlantis. I want you to get this straight. Atlantis is a concept, not a place. It's a concept of a sinking island. Guess which island sunk? It's Lemuria. I want you to start connecting the dots. It's in your Akash. Didn't sink all the way. But how were you to know that when you were so frightened of it? So those of you who believe you are Atlantean, there is really no such thing. It's a concept because you've repeated this particular scenario many times over your Akash. The sinking island existed at least three times. You called each time Atlantis and you made it singular. How human, how 3D. It's bigger than that. I talked to old souls. There is a pool of experience here that is absolutely amazing. If even one of you, even one of you, have the gift and the opportunity to put on the screen what you've accomplished, who you were, how many lifetimes, how many wars, how many genders, how many children. <laughs> You couldn't make enough movies to watch in a lifetime about you and what you've done and what you've experienced. And you might say, well, I, I, was, I was ordinary in every single lifetime. Dear ones, that's the lifetimes where you had the experience. We don't care when you were the, the queen of this or the king of this. That's not a lifetime where you learned anything. I'm talking about being on the prairie when your children died at birth. I'm talking about it being in the war when your brother was killed next to you and you watched him. Maybe you were next. I'm talking about profound life experience. It goes in and it matures you. So you can come into a life like this and you can feel God inside, know you've got help, know you have the hand of God in your hand. And if you're going to weep, it will be appropriate and not out of balance. You know how to handle things. That's the old soul. That's the one who's going to cross this bridge with elegance. It is so important that you are an old soul today. And if, if you choose to pass tomorrow, you will come back as a young old soul. <laughs> You will awaken with the knowledge you have today in a new energy. It's going to be easier for the young people than for you. Do you realize how difficult it is to pass the marker and carry the old energy, drag it into the new? Do you know the, 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 the things that you have to go through? You're losing people now because it's not appropriate. They'll do better if they're born again in a body and all they know is the new energy. It will resound with them, ring with them. They won't have to relearn anything. Do you understand how much sense this makes for the planet? It doesn't matter how long you live, dear ones. The old soul is coming back clean and you're coming back excited and knowledgeable and wiser than you are today. 
with nothing to relearn. What a beautiful system. You've got so much work. It's all going to be consciousness. I don't know what you've got going on in your body right now that you think is inappropriate or a surprise and there are those here. You see, I know who's here. This is no mystery to me. You know how loved you are? To be known by God, to be here at this time, Whatever's going on in your body, did you know that it is healable through consciousness? Your medical profession is beautiful and science has taken it to a new level and a new high. And you combine it with your consciousness, you're going to live a long time. Eventually, as your DNA progresses to a place where you're innate, that is a smart body inside is allied with your common consciousness and that built it, that the bridge is built you just won't get sick how would you like to have a body where disease cannot get in because the vibration is too high I just gave away one of the secrets of the century what is disease and why do you get it? If you are moving toward a higher vibration, 44%, with control over your biology, not conscious control, not the control to grow a new a third arm, it's, a, it's, it's the consciousness that knows what's happening in your blood. You don't have a blood test. You don't have to. It knows. How about that? Doesn't it make sense you should have more control over who you are. You will. And when you vibrate that high, dear ones, the low energy, low vibrating bacteria, disease, and virus won't even look at you. It doesn't even have a chance. You know how I know this? I've seen it before. The ones who seeded you went through this. I watched their evolution and it was just like yours. I know what's coming. Not at the same speed, not exactly the same way for your human beings. But God inside has the same effect for all. This is an exciting time. Depends upon you whether your glass is half full or half empty. That is free choice, individual. If you're going to spin in the drama of it, you're wasting time. Get on with the celebration, dear ones. The reality of what truly is yours and happening. I want you, when you leave this place, to feel the love of the Creator inside you. Enough for you can say, it is well with me. I know who I am why I'm here and I'm going to move through it with grace and ease I'll be back and so it is